welcome back to the mother freaking chanel how are you guys all doing today i hope you're having an amazing day if you follow me on instagram you probably saw that i am now a brand ambassador for pr sky i am so excited i'm so happy this has been a really long goal of mine yeah i'm just really excited so pr sky has really really amazing products if you haven't tried them yet girl you're gonna fall in love they recently launched their it was a couple weeks ago like three weeks ago i think but they launched their new express pro acrylic press on now they sent me over some really fun sets and i've been wanting to try this so bad it's a really fun and easy way to do press on nails we're going to be using some acrylic too so this could be considered like a little press on acrylic nail hack if you want to learn more about kiara sky's express pro acrylic press on nails chit chat hang out with me then just keep watching Mwah. bye Hi guys, so let's go over the new Kiara Sky Express Pro Acrylic Press-On Nail System. So these nails are 100% acrylic. They are all reusable. They come in a variety of different shapes and lengths and a tons of different styles too. There's over like 30 different styles. Um, 30 different nails come in each of the different packages and they have a little system that you use to put these on with acrylic. So the first thing that I got is the new uh, Kiarasco, or Kiara Sky 100% Kalinsky nail brush. This is a size 12 and literally the most gorgeous brush I've ever seen. It is such good quality. Next thing that they recommend using is clear acrylic. So I just got the regular two ounce clear from Kiara Sky and then also their EMA monomer. This is um, MMA free and only eight ounces. I just got the little one to start off, but these are all the products you're going to need to do this little new um, press on nail hack. Um, you also need acrylic primer which I also got which I'll show you guys in a minute but these nails are so cool like I said they're 100% acrylic there's three different ways to put them on and they are 100% reusable too it comes with everything that you need and I just think this is so cute first of all it's packaged really cool it comes with 30 different sets of nails or not different sets but it comes with 30 nails it comes with um, a wooden stick an alcohol pad um, which the alcohol paddle is actually wet. And then here are the little glue tabs. These are for one day wear. And then a little file buffer and some nail glue. So like I said, you can put these on three different ways. And if you just look at these, like you, you can just see how flawless they fit around the cuticle area. I was, I'm stunned. I'm blown away. And every single size fit like it perfectly like whatever size you are this they're gonna have your size like you're because just all the variety of sizes is pretty amazing nothing needed filed everything like it, i don't know i just have never seen press on nails like this it was just crazy to me and by the way that little short almond set i love i was really sad i put on my instagram i had you guys vote to see which ones you wanted me to wear i was really sad the short ones didn't win um but yeah, like I said, you need acrylic monomer, an acrylic brush, and I'm going to show you how I prep my nails to put these on. So following directions on the back of the box, it says to first um, go on clean natural nails. So since I had some base coat on my nails, that little um, file they put it in the kit, it wasn't gonna work for me. So I'm just taking an e-file and a cuticle bit, and I am just going around and getting a little clean base for me, and then removing all the dust nicely dusting away from the cuticle not towards because that can make it lift if you get dust in your cuticles next i'm taking that wooden stick that came just pushing back all my cuticles making sure i got pretty much all of them while filing but i'm just being safe and um doing my due, due diligence to make sure these nails last as long as possible um after i get done with pressing all the cuticles i told you guys um I am gonna go in with the alcohol wipe and it is wet. Usually a lot of alcohol wipes companies send, they are dried out, they are wet. So Kiara Sky, you know what you're doing with the alcohol wipes. Who knew it would be such a big thing to get an actual wet wipe, but disinfected my nails, made sure all the oils were gone and voila. Now I'm going in with the, alcohol, or the acrylic primer 
I also got this from Kiara Sky. And I've used a lot of primers. This was a primer I've never used anything like it before. So on the back, I don't know if you can read that, you probably can't, but the directions say to apply an even layer on all of your nails and then let completely dry before you go in with the acrylic. Now this stuff was not what I was expecting. Usually, usual regular primer like dries, you know, 100%. This stuff reminds me of wet base coat. It, and, and you don't cure it either. It just dries naturally, but it leaves a shiny, like sticky tacky layer on your nails, which I could tell was gonna work really good. So one of the ways you can put those nails on is with nail glue, or you can use these one day tabs. I've never used these before, so I'm going to be doing that today. But um, when I was doing this, like, tutorial I didn't know I was going to be doing that I originally was just trying to show you what to do you can put the tabs on the back of the nail or on your natural nail and then put it on and then same with the nail glue it says to put nail glue inside of the nail and on top of your natural nail too just to make sure it really sticks you don't get air bubbles and then you want to start at the cuticle and then lay it flatly to get all those air bubbles out so um, I also got these. Uh, these are new from Kara Sky. They just came out a couple days ago. These are their new disposable nail mats. They are so cute. You get 125 of these disposable nail mats. Um, and they're like the dentist mats. It has the little Kara Sky logo all over them. And I'm going to put this down today because we're going to be using acrylic and I want to keep my desk nice and clean. So I'm going to show you guys how cute these are, what they look like. And um, they're pink, so you already know I have to have these out. I should have had two of them or like had a paper towel underneath it. So that was just like a thing learned for me. Like they're pretty thin. I don't know what I was thinking. So obviously a monomer did seep through, but I'm gonna put these moon nails on. I'm grabbing the clear acrylic and my brush. I'm just gonna kinda get this brush like, uh, what's the word, broken in. <laughs> and then I'm just grabbing some of that acrylic and I have this random jar sitting here. I need to get a dampen dish. I don't have one, I need to grab one. That's like the next thing on my Amazon list I swear so I'm just gonna get that I don't need that much monomer literally like I'm just putting beads so I knew I didn't need that much I was just doing this on one hand but I got my brush wet and then I'm gonna go in and size up my nails that one was too big so here is this is like the third smallest size by the way it was perfect it needed no filing all I did was flip it over and I got a little bead of clear I put that baby in and just kind of like moved it around a little bit and then plopped it on my nail. This is definitely a little bit of trial and error. Um, I didn't know how much to put in at first, so a little bit did seep out, but like you can see here, I just took my brush, gently cleaned that away. It was no big deal. Um, and oh, I was, <laughs> wow, look at how perfect this looks. Like it is seamless to my cuticle and look at the underneath you guys. like. Yeah, just really good. And then a couple of them I did mess up on. Like I got too small of a bead. The bead dried up so quick that it didn't have time to adhere to my nail and then it just fell off. Um, that did happen to me twice, I think. So then I was kind of getting the consistency down. Like you don't want a dry bead. You don't want like a super wet bead. You just literally want the perfect monomer to acrylic bead. <laughs> and if you work with acrylic a lot, it'll be super easy for you. If not, a little bit of trial and error, but hey, you don't even have to use the acrylic because you can go on with a glue or the nail tabs. And um, after I did this hand, we decided we were gonna go shopping for the day. So I decided to put the glue nail tab on my right hand and wear those for the day while we were shopping and I have a little vlog at the end so if you guys want to stick around to see that but I show you how well the tabs end up working for my kind of lifestyle so yeah I'm just gonna get these nails applied I found out that these little clips used for dual, dual forms work so good for this method when you have acrylic like this on your hand because the clips just keep it in place. So I'll let you guys watch for a second while I get all these beads on and these applied and then I'll be back in just a minute. You guys, how good do these look? I am just blown away. I love them so much. Like, I don't know. I just feel like they look literally like real, a real set I just did. 
Anyway, so like I said, I'm gonna do these little press on tabs on my right hand and it's super easy. So I found that what works best, I tried to put it inside the nail first. I was like, no. So what I found works best for me is to put the tab on my natural nail first and then to take the little top off and then put the um, fake nail on top of that. Uh, what I think you could also do is put these tabs down and then put glue inside of the fake nail and then stick those together. And I feel like you could wear those for like an entire weekend versus just one day. Um, I don't really know who wears nails for like just one day unless you're like making YouTube videos, but I don't know. I feel like you'd wear them for maybe like a weekend or something to make it more worth it. But yeah, it was super easy. Like I said, just put those little tabs down. And when you have the tabs down, it has that film on top of it that keeps it covered until you take that film off for its stick for its stickiness so you can still see if the other you can still fit your nails and make sure they fit um without like making it stick if that makes sense so i accidentally put the tabs on then i was like dang i forgot to uh size my nails but it was fine because i didn't re remove that top layer yet so here they both are i don't know about you but i think that the press on like the tab set looks almost as good as the acrylic set. I saw a few bubbles from the tabs, but there was absolutely no bubbles with the acrylic set and they felt really strong. This hi. is for my channel. Say hi. Hi. TJ Maxx, let's see if these nails last. This one's a little crooked. That's why I kind of like these pre these tabs because um I can reuse them. My boyfriend's yelling. Halloween stuff. Look at him. He's so creepy. He is creepy. His nails do last. That crooked one. He's cool. Okay, let's go look for the Hello Kitty thing. I look crazy. Um, but the reason that I wanted to come here is because Manifest Makeup, my girl Penny, she's been like posting the cutest little rails on instagram of all of her finds at tj maxx and marshall's and it was some hello kitty stuff and you guys i'm a sucker for hello kitty it was like a compact mirror and um some halloween hello kitty so i'm gonna look for that really quick and we'll see how the nails last do a twirl for me wow so they have some halloween costume this one and then they had this cute um, Cinderella one she tried on with the cape. And then they had the bell. And it happens to all just be her size. My favorite's this one. But I think she likes this because of the cape. And it might be warm for Halloween. So we'll see. A twirl for us, Belle. <laughs> Turn around. So cute, it's your time. It's like a long. How cute these are. I might have to get them, guys. So it's either these or these. I'm gonna try these on really quick. We lost a nail. No. Look at these shoes. Do you like them? Yeah. I'm gonna either get these or those white ones. Hey you guys, I am finally home after a long day. Um, me and Marcus, my boyfriend, we usually work on the weekends so it's important for us to sometimes take Saturdays off and go hang out with our daughter, go shopping, so that's what we did today. This is how the nails did, this is the side that had acrylic, this is how that had the press on tabs. Um, as you can see, the nail still looks really good. This is the thumbnail still perfect ready for another wear so i'm really happy about that um these are all on really good so the reason that these two fell off was one is my fault 
Um, this one was a little bit too small. Uh, I used the same size as this on this hand as I did on this hand and the nail beds on my left hand, um, I'm right handed by the way, but the nail beds on my left hand are just a little bit smaller. So I usually do have to size up when I go on my dominant hand, but I didn't and this nail is a little bit too small, like I said, so it was like kind of pinching my nail and it made my nail, my nail bed really sore. So um, I took this one off. This one actually didn't come off. I took it off myself. If I wouldn't have taken it off, it would have stayed on. I did dishes. Um, I took, I washed my daughter's hair in the bath. We went shopping. I tried on like five different pairs of shoes, tennis shoes, which are really hard to do on with the nails. And so that's why this one came off is because of all the shoes I was trying on. And this nail, I used the same size as this one and this one was a little bit small and was pinching as well. So if I would have sized up on both of these, I don't think I would have had that problem because um, the sticky tabs definitely withstood water and all that stuff. So definitely 10 out of 10 recommend, 100 out of 100 recommend. 12 out of 10 recommend. These are so worth it. They look, I don't know if you can see in my nail bed, but after wearing them today, like usually you can see press-ons, they just can, they look like press-ons. You guys know if you follow my channel, I always file the free, the cuticles of all of the press-ons or full cover nails that I use and I didn't do that with these. And I don't know about you guys, but they look pretty freaking flawless to me. So I'm going to leave these on for a couple days and then I will remove them with the new drill I got in a few days. But I just want to see how they last and how they look when they grow out. So yeah, anyway, I definitely recommend go grabbing these. Don't forget to use code SLAYBYJ when shopping with Kara Sky. Everything will be linked in the bio, I mean in the description. But I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!